I was sent these carp hair rigs to give my honest opinion. So let's go ahead and open them up, check them out. So what I have here is I have 24 size two hair rigs. Then I have 24 size eight hair rigs. They come with the bait stoppers. So this is kind of like just a stick type stopper. And this is the kind of stopper that you put the line in and it goes each side of the bait. Basically you use these with any kind of bait balls or anything like that, that once you string the bait, you need the bait to stay on. And then it also comes with bait tools. This is a drill type of bait tool. So you can poke a hole into the floating bobbers. That's typically where this is used. And then you can run the string through it. This is also really good to use for like corn or anything like that, that you're going to use for your bait. This small little needle can just push the hair string right through the corn or, or whatever bait you're using. So let me go ahead and take these out of the package. I want to check out the actual rigs. So at the end of the rig here, you've got a really nice swivel that has been heat shrinked onto the line, which is really nice. I really like what they did with that. It's not just tied off, but it's also covered and shrinked. Pretty good line on here. And when you get down to the hook, it's already nicely tied, very tight. It does have a light bead on the line. These hooks look pretty stout. And then you got the extra bit there for your bait. All right, so if you have the hair rig like this, how you use these tools, and these are great to use, is let's say this is a piece of corn or you have a bait ball. So this will just slide right through your bait like that. And then you hook onto the string like this, and this makes it very easy to put your bait on the string. Now that's very important because you want your bait to hold on well we use corn a lot so we would just push the corn onto here and then if you needed to use a stopper then that's where you would get one of these you just cut them out with a pair of scissors and put them on here but usually we don't have much problem with the bait staying on and especially if we have a bait ball we normally push it over the knot a little bit further in so that it's on there really nice and sturdy so i usually don't have to put a stopper but let's say you had you know two or three kernels of corn something like that on here you may want to put a stopper on there if they keep falling off and these are really good to use for that so these are pretty nice we would definitely use these and buy these and uh, we will be using them on our next carp fishing trip so i hope this video was helpful if it was please give the video a thumbs up if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.